Okay, we are making chicken parm meatballs, and then we're gonna put them in fathead dough. So first what you're gonna do is take eight ounces of ground chicken, mix it with one unhatched chicken, one tablespoon of almond flour, or I guess it would be like a teaspoon of coconut flour, Okay, would you say like a quarter cup of grated Parmesan? Like half. half a cup of grated Parmesan. Yo, Caroline, I'm your biggest fan. All right, and then we're gonna season it. Garlic powder. A little more, I would put a little more. More garlic powder. Yeah. Onion powder. Careful with that. <laughs> it doesn't have the lid. Oh, it doesn't have a lid. Oh my goodness. All right. Onion powder. Yo, Chasley, I'm your biggest fan. Is all almond flour the same or do you have a favorite brand? They're all the same. Some pepper. More, more. More. Be generous with those seasonings. Okay. Is this oregano? Yeah, oregano. Well, one of them is oregano, the other one is... I love oregano. I could eat buckets of oregano. All right, and this one is, I don't know, parsley? parsley. All right. And salt. And salt. All right. Now we're just going to mix it up. Yeah, do you want me to do that? Uh, Anna's going to mix it hands. up. Yes. Okay, here. All right. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Just going to use my hands. April, you are not into oregano. What? Well, I feel cilantro. I like cilantro, but a lot of people don't. Is there a keto-friendly cheese replacement? Um... I don't know, I'm sorry. It's like, if you are if you can't have cheese, I'm, we're gonna pray for you, I'm sorry. I got a Greek oregano plant and the best flavor you would love. Whoa, that sounds pretty busting. Okay. So, we could start getting the little cast iron All right. on. Now we're gonna cook these in a cast iron. Well, we still have um, shake the meatballs and stuff them with the fresh mozzarella, but let's do that while the... Like over the cast iron? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now you're just going to add them to a cast iron. Or we could just... Actually, hold on. We'll just... Actually, we're going to shake them. Maybe we should add some more. Well, maybe a little bit more almond flour so we could just get a little bit more. Okay. I have raw chicken on my hand right now. What's the first thing you ever made in your air fryer? I don't know. Um, huh. Probably some form of chicken or something. Right. Like, stuff it in there. All right. So that's what you do. You just roll them into balls and stuff some mozzarella in there. Oh, bacon. It probably was bacon, you're right. This looks like it's bussin'. It's really about to be super bussin'. Oh, let's get it, holidays. Thank you. I've learned so much from you. Love your recipes. Hey, thank you, travel gal. Anna makes everything look so easy. I know. I get so, like, scared of recipes like this, and they're just so easy to her. These are really good with Rayo Arabiata sauce. I have no idea what that is. Oh, yeah, but I'm... Arabiata. I know it's just as spicy to me. So. Um, Arabia, Arabiata. I don't know. I can't Arabiata. say that. Arabiata. 
If you use a tablespoon measure, won't it be more consistent in size? Uh, yeah, um, but we're not about that life. Yeah, Come on, do you know us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if you use, like, a cookie scooper. Yeah, yeah. What Good would idea you... in theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you use instead of spaghetti pasta? Uh, Palmini, Zoodles. There's a company called Great Low Carb. We need to use, like, some form of keto pasta to make the keto pasta chips. All right, I think that'll be enough. We have, like, a tiny little cast iron that we're using. Yeah, it's going to be a bit pun intended. All right. Um, ooh, an ice cream scooper, too. Yes. All right. So we got... Anna got me this mini cast iron today. So heat it up. Yep. A little bit. Guys, I used to be scared of using this because you put butane in it, but once I used it a few times, the fear totally went away. And that's just something in life is like, a lot of things are scary until you do them. And once you realize nothing bad happens, it's like your life becomes so much easier and you, became, you become so much more able, like in all areas. <laughs> It was like a real fear. I had this thing for weeks and was like terrified to use it. And now it's like an essential part of these videos, you know? I used to have to plug it into the wall and it was so annoying. And now I just use a gas one. It's way easier. Somebody said it looks well used. We literally just got it today. Is I'm it not, I don't even know if it's like pre-seasoned or not. Oh. Uh, I don't know. We're doing things backwards today. Did you get it at like a thrift store or from H-E-B? No, I got it from H-E-B. Oh, wow. It should be pre-seasoned. I don't know. Do you have um, something that I can touch this with without burning my hand? Like a napkin? Uh, yeah. We got this at H-E-B. Or they actually had like this really cute set. They had like the, big one, the bigger one and the smaller one. But it, we already have like... A... Oh, like a glove? Yeah, like a cloth. Oh. Maybe the lighting is off. I don't know. All right. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is like very mini. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Bussin'. The oil we put in it, oh, someone said whip the oil, then put your oil on. What? I don't know what that means. Holiday's got the Sola Bread and Hilo chips today. Yo, those two products are just so busting. Yeah. These meatballs look massive because we're using a mini stove. <laughs> yeah. Like on camera? Yeah. The skillet is maybe like, what, right six inches? Hand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good job. So, there's a, the, that cast iron skillet, the big one that we have, came pre-seasoned. A lot of them come pre-seasoned. I don't know about this one, though. We're making chicken meatballs. Uh, stuffed with um, fresh mozzarella and then we're gonna put some rayos on them and cover it with more cheese and then we're gonna broil them for a little bit and then Eric is going to put them into a fat hot pocket. Dough. Yeah we're gonna make a hot pocket with fat head dough. Yeah. Yo that was Keto Made Simple who asked. That's like another like big keto page. Yo shout out to Keto Made Simple. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Does SA have to be eaten sparingly or can I pack a sandwich for lunch every day? Do you mean solo bread? You could eat it every day. I eat Mission Fortula wraps every single day. I don't think I could survive without um, Mission Fortulas. Just last night, me and Anna had walked like two and a half hours to see fireworks. Yeah. And I considered walking to my apartment to get, um, 
to get tortilla wraps, but she said we had one at home, so. Oh, look at that cheese already, like, starting up, mm -hmm. wanting to come out. Yo, the turtle gang is a bit, Gino. Mmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> Trying to get all the angles. So I didn't eat mission wraps in the beginning because I just didn't know about them. Um, but in the beginning, I ate a lot of weird stuff. Like I would eat like chicken nugget. I wasn't even doing like a good version of keto. I would, I remember my parents would get like Long John Silver's for dinner and I would just eat like the chicken and fish, like the fried, like I would eat like a lot of fried breaded foods. And I just wasn't doing keto that great when I started anyway. These smell incredible. Yeah, they smell really good. So, they look so really good. good. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I don't even know if we should put them in fat head though. Maybe I'll just put them on a plate with Rayos. Like as like yeah. a yeah. Well, I'll if you did it like, though. it would be, it would have been good if you just did like a sub, yeah. like a meatball marinara sub yeah. with the fat head dough. But honestly, I think these are going to be just really good by themselves. Yeah, we will see. All right, guys, we're going to now put some... I'm starting keto today and I have your book and mission tortillas and silver bread. When I first tried it was all eggs and bacon. This seems more realistic. Exactly. Who cares about clean ingredients? Like in only eating beef liver, it's about what's realistic for you to stick to. How can you stop eating Big Macs every day? Oh so this God. is just some rails. Okay. Yo, that is so that annoying. was like, Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna top it off with a little mozzarella cheese. We just cannot use, like, we just can't cook in here. It's so ridiculous. Put the rest of that. Push it on. Give it a little more seasoning. Is it possible mm. to disable the firearm yes. in your kitchen? A little garlic on the top. Ooh. <sighs> and now we're just going to pop, pop this into the broiler for like a couple of minutes. Do um, you need to No. That's weird. You're using a towel for that. I have gloves. Yeah. Gloves would be good. <laughs> Great. Oh, that looks so good. I know. I'll do it. Yeah, I think we just skip that and do it. All right. All right. Oh my God, that looks so good. Okay. All right, guys. That just looks too good. Like, we are for sure skipping the fathead dough and just eating it out of the skillet. All right, I'm safely removing the butane. Do you want to talk about this? Oh, yeah. Anna made, an, so this was originally going to be the side, but we just, like, had a lot, like, going on, so we kind of decided to wait, and we'll just, like, do this after the video tonight, but um, check this out. Let me move this out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So this is a broccoli salad. <laughs> I toasted some walnuts and some um, pumpkin seeds. I just popped them in the broiler in that same little cast iron skillet for like five minutes. Um, 
some cheddar cheese, some bacon bits, that's one diced jalapeno, some red onions, and the broccoli. Mm. And then I made my own sauce. This, this sauce. is like super experimental, so I can't really like, I don't even remember what the measurements are because tasted, I just started tasting it. It tasted so good. I would say it's like a half a cup of sour cream, um, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, mm. salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, um, and that's it. It tastes, oh, and a little bit of lime, fresh squeezed lime juice. Just like a tiny bit. It tasted like French onion did. So eventually this will all go in there and then I'll mix everything for the salad. Mm. Oh my goodness. Holidays. I was thinking about doing the ranch. Um, but, oh, I also added like a teaspoon of um, allulose to this. So it's like a little sweet and tangy. And salty. But yeah, I also thought that the um like the jalapeno ranch would be really good on this. Yeah. Oh, that would be busting. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so this all gets will eventually get mixed in. Mm. And I would say it's like two cups of broccoli and then a half a cup of everything else. And are we just waiting for the cheese to melt now? Ooh, look at how pretty that looks. I know. We should take a picture of it like as that. Yeah. That looks so nice. It's like it's amazing how the like the taste of the nuts changes once you put them into the and once you roast them. It's like a whole different ballgame. Yeah. And like what else we have? A watermelon white claw. Oh. I just checked it. Oh. Yo, this actually tastes good. This might be the best white claw I've yeah, had. That's my favorite. This is bussin'. Do you want it? Yeah. Mmm. All right, so now we just wait for the meatballs to get done. And I'll show you the fathead dough I was going to use. I just, we're not going to do it, but... You just mix a cup and a half of mozzarella with two tablespoons of cream cheese. Microwave. I can't even talk fast enough. I should have just made this video slower. Um, but basically, I'll show you guys that in another video. So, yeah. Now we just wait for the, um, for the meatballs. What exactly is busting and where did it come from? Uh, just TikTok. It's like a TikTok thing. A little longer. I just want to move it a little, but. All right, we're just gonna wait for those to be done. Mm. So I was so excited to make like a meatball hot pocket with these, but I'm like, I'm just, I feel so lazy. I'm just not really trying to like do all that. I think it'll look prettier if we just do it as this anyway. I love when you say bussin. Hey, I love when you say bussin. Uh, Amber, white calls are good. They're, are, would you say they're strong, Anna? No, not at all. No. Oh, they have iced tea ones too, Brooke? Kate says Trulies are better. Is this ready? The Trulies to me have like a weird, um, after like taste. Yeah, bubble. Oh. Yeah, Gabby, I finally got a haircut. Guys, I almost just touched this with my hand. Here. 
maybe wipe their lens? No, it's 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 blurry because we are zoomed in. All right, guys. Just remember to take the picture. Yeah, I'll use your phone. Oh, should we use a meat thermometer to make sure the chicken is done? I think it's done. I think it's done. All right. I think because it's, I don't think a good, like a far away overhead would be. Oh, actually this looks good. Mm hmm. All right, let's get it. Okay, time to eat. Oh my gosh. If you wanna take like a quick picture So excited. Do you care how late you have your last meal? Absolutely not. I think a lot of people, um, oh my God, my microwave is not open. Hold on. So I think a lot of people overthink like what time you eat. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, it just matters how much food you're eating. It does not matter at what time you're eating it. Obviously, eating a, a massive meal right before you lay down for bed wouldn't be the, de the best for your sleep quality. But at the end of the day, it's like not your body is going to burn calories like no matter what time you eat them or consume them. So I don't care. I eat late, but I try not to eat before actually like laying down for bed. So I try to eat like an hour or two before I go to sleep. And it seems to, um, I seem to sleep fine. I would like to get an aura ring to actually test this out and see like, all right, if I eat three hours before bed, is my sleep better than if I eat one hour before bed? And then I would actually have like something um, like concrete to share. But just going off of how I feel, I don't think, as long as I'm like an hour or two before bed, it's fine. So the fireworks in Austin were okay. Um, they're very, very, very mediocre. Yeah, Anna was not impressed. She's from New York, so she, like, is used to, like, giant fireworks. And here, the, it's crazy that Texas, like, they sell fireworks at every... Like, if you go down, like, a highway or, like, the, like the country roads, there's, like, fireworks stands, like, every two miles. It's crazy. Um, but the fireworks in Austin were just kind of weak. It was, like... Like, I just thought they were okay, and I was, like, not into them at all. All right, dinner is served. Thank you. A pointy spoon? Are you going to eat one? Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Let's look in the middle. Open them up. Oh, yeah, they're totally done. Look here. Hold on. Show them, a, show them like, a middle. Oh, there you go. Look. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Will you hand me a plate? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. So good. Whoa. Bruh. Mm. Mm. These are better than the meatball place we went to. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yo. Fresh mozzarella in there. So good. Yeah. I didn't even know what fresh mozzarella was. She bought this like weird container with like liquid in it that has these balls. And apparently it's mozzarella cheese. It is fresh mozzarella. Mm. You should tell them what you told me about the goat oh, cheese yeah. today. So Anna suggested we put goat cheese in the meatballs. And I was like, look. I love goat cheese now. It would taste so good. But prior to meeting her. You had no idea what goat cheese was. I thought you like had to go to a farmer to get it. And I'm sure a lot of people. My mindset is like, I want to make recipes that everyone can like relate <laughs> to. I just don't think the average person like knows about goat cheese, you know? Because I never did. Like, I've never... Like, growing up, like, we never had goat cheese. Like, that's not something I ever... Like, that was ever, like, made or, like, bought, you know? Oh, my God. This was so good. Oh. But... But now that I've been eating it, it's like so phenomenal. Yeah, it's so good. I put it on the sandwich last night. This is, this would be like a whole family favorite. Like babies would love to eat this. Yeah, this is bussin'. I think we should just get spiritual. Oh my God, that was so good. All right, let's get it. Oh, fathead dough rolls to go with it would have been a good idea. All right, let's get spiritual. Yo, Lord, please be with anybody who's struggling on their keto journey and help them realize that they have the power to change their eating habits. Thank you for bringing this amazing community together. We're so blessed to have each other. And most importantly, thank you for giving us life because every day we wake up is truly a blessing and we should never, ever take that for granted. Amen. All right, let's get this breathing exercise in. Breathe in feelings of gratitude. Hold it and feel your body relaxing. Breathe out any stress or negativity. Breathe in feelings of inner peace. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any tension or anxiety and remind yourself that everything's happening exactly as it should be. Breathe in feelings of self-love. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any self-doubt or negativity and remind yourself that you are beautiful and you are worthy of reaching your goals. All right, let's get this visualization in. Close your eyes, relax. Imagine that it's Monday. And say you had carbs all weekend. And imagine today you wake up and you promise yourself you're going to stay keto. But then imagine you walk into the kitchen in the morning and there's donuts on the counter. Imagine you just promised yourself you were going to stay keto, but then you're like, you know what? I go back to work tomorrow. Maybe one donut today won't help, won't hurt. It'll just be part of the weekend. But imagine then you're like, nah, I don't want these. I don't need these and nothing good would come from having these. And imagine you take a deep breath, feeling totally calm and totally in control. And you just say, nah, I'm not going to eat these donuts. And imagine you make yourself some keto meal. Maybe you have keto desserts like fat bombs or keto cookies. But imagine you say, I'm not about to eat these donuts. And you actually don't. All right, guys, I love you. 
I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed night.